nothing on the charts here, so we're going in blind. Really? Yeah. Wake up in the morning. One engine with a med mooring. How nervous are you out of 10? Oh, quick, grab a glass of water. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> and chase those dreams of mine. Hush, hush, honey, don't you go and cry. The grass ain't always greener when you go and die. We spent the past two days with inconsistent winds sailing from Sicily across the Ionian Sea to Zakynthos. Having such fluky winds meant there wasn't much sailing going on. Jack, my cousin, had just joined us and it was our last night on passage. We were expected to arrive at our final destination of Zakynthos when the sun came up. Well, hello there. It is 11pm and I'm on watch. Rally is awake, helping me out. Keeping an eye on it. Um, sailing conditions, what's been going on this afternoon, Riles? Uh, this afternoon we've had about 11 knots at 130 degrees, 137, and um, we're headed 10 or 20 degrees off course just to maintain that speed of about 7 knots, 7 and a half. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, before then we had to motor a bit because it dropped down to 2 knots, mm. but then it was bombing this morning, it got up to like 18. So yeah. yeah, it's been, it's been uh, a little bit of everything. on the charts here and there's nothing from Rod so we're going in blind. Really? Yeah. This is the first I've heard of it. Yeah. There's a, what? Little, there's what? a little bit on the iPhone but it's just a, I don't know, it's just uncharted. I mean, I don't know why it's not on any of these charts. It's weird. That's but. really weird. We're going I think that's in. a sign. Maybe we shouldn't go in. No, oh, that's, a, that's a, gonna be good. On top of the fact we're about to enter an unfamiliar uncharted anchorage, we've been having problems with our port side engine. Last night when the wind died we fired it up only to have it conk out not too long after. This morning we were to get on the job. What's going on Roz? Last night we started the port side engine and it, the revs died and then I put it in neutral and it sort of maintained and then I put it in forwards again and it died completely out. So we pulled apart poor old Jack's bed. We waited until morning because we have, have the other engine and also sails and we're not near land. So we're just going to muck around with, I think it's fuel, eh, hey, Jack? Yeah, well, it just died out of nowhere, so. So there's a lots of different things that it could be, and we're going to start pulling stuff apart. Now, we think we think it could be a leaky fuel hose or something like that. But... Block fuel filter. Yeah, I'll give this a pump. It was there in the fuel line. We looked around for the leak and tightened everything we could. I had run the diesel tanks pretty low on this crossing and thought that that might have something to do with it. But for now, we had a large anchorage with plenty of room, so even one engine would suffice. or Smuggler's Cove as it's referred to, has been a place on my bucket list to visit for many years now. This freightliner, the MV Penayotis, ran aground one stormy day in 1980. There are rumours of this ship smuggling things like cigarettes, alcohol and women. You can only reach this cove by boat, or you can base jump down if you're into that. So 
we've all just been for a quick swim and checked on the anchor. It's not really set, or it's dug, but there's so many boulders around, so yeah, it wouldn't be good to stay the night here. Well, what's the deal, Riley? Are we staying the night here? It picks up from here in the next three, four hours, so there's a, an anchorage on the island to the north of here, which would be quite good. Okay. All right. Well, we've only got a few hours then, so we're going to swim to shore and check out this shipwreck. There's a stack of tourists around, but for good reason. The water is crystal blue and, yeah, the whitest sandy beach. It's, it really is something. I can't see. Riley made a good move for his sunglasses. <laughs> it's so bright. I think it's a swing. Is there a swing up there? Well, you can just see really, really high up here. It's either a swing or a like flying fox zip line, but that would be incredible. I am. How do you slow down? I don't. I think it's a swing. I think you jump off over here and you swing down and around. And I am totally not gonna do that. <laughs> we swam back to La Vaga and got on our way. It would still be a few hours until we reached our next stop. You know, um, we've only got one engine, so it's like Zoolander to go. Like, you know how he's a Nambi turner, he can't turn right, so he goes like, to go left. We're gonna have to do that when we get up into the harbour. Is down in here. So we've just been in uh, Shipwreck Bay, which is down here in Zakynthos, and now we're heading up to Cephalonia. Cephalonia. And we're gonna anchor in there for the night. Hopefully, hopefully, no dramas and we'll, uh, we'll be totally fine. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Jackie. Isn't he the cutest? Oh, he's going. <laughs> Half of me should run. There's only room for one. No. Coming in, one engine with a med mooring. How you? How nervous are you out of ten? It's the first med mooring I've had to do for oh, since Rarotonga, maybe like seven months ago. So I'm really nervous. Riley's just spent the past ten minutes trying to calm me down. Because <laughs> if that engine dies, like I can do minimal steering with the one engine and the helm, but it's it's going to be difficult. You'll be fine, in pants. In a tight little space. I have massive faith in you. What's up? Yep, awesome, thanks, I'll see ya. There's a large mountain here on the left, yep, thank you very much. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bunch of lights. No, not it's in a, there. It's a city. We're going forward. Well, we managed to do it with no dramas. The engine held out until we tied off, so... Um, luckily, one of the people who was standing on the shore awaiting our arrival, which made me super nervous, by the way, Lucy is a stalker, she was on the AAS and saw that we were coming um, so there was like a little welcoming party for us and I was worried the engine was going to die so I was super nervous but it didn't, we got in here tied off and there were a bunch of lovely people and one of them is a diesel mechanic so uh, that's handy, Riley's going to go uh, see him tomorrow and see if he can look at it um, anyway, we all just had showers, we're feeling fresh and we're about to head into town so fresh alright, quick, because there is a beer calling my name <laughs> Okay, so just, just quickly, I just wanted to explain how fantastically Elena did just then. So we've got... And Jack and Troya. No, but in particular, Elena, it was that your first Mediterranean mooring yes, ever? Yes, my first driving med helms? mooring in this boat. So, okay, it's night time. There's a cross breeze, which is a nightmare. And we've got one engine with Jack downstairs on the fuel bleed screw nozzle thing nozzle because the revs are dying and the engine's about to die all right Eli. all right you fire it up yep how's that and it's elena's first mediterranean morning with mooring which i will explain to you down here yeah we didn't get too much of it on film because it's dark yeah so for those of you that don't know what a mediterranean mooring is it's just a, a way that they moor in the Mediterranean so that they can fit more boats in. It's 
Sorry, that looks like <laughs> looked very phallic for a minute there. So you're coming along here and you have to drop your anchor there whilst the wind is pushing you this way and then reverse back into your spot here. So you sort of have to drop the anchor, you're getting pushed this way and then you're like going like this all the time. Then you drop into your spot and then you've got to throw your dock lines on pretty quickly, get into place and then come in on this anchor and it holds you off of the key. So that is a med mooring. That's how, that's how you do it and it's uh, pretty difficult. Like everyone panics about it when they're over here and um, Alona nailed it in a cross press at night, first time ever. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty impressive oh, with right. one engine at times. It's not a very traditional Greek town, but it'll do. We found ourselves at some kind of square here. What do you think, Jack? Unsure. Hmm. Okay, a euros is a traditional Greek like wrap thing with chips and all naughty stuff. Yeah. It's like a taco. We just heard Motorhead, Ace of Spades, and a tiny little grease bar. <laughs> What's going on? This is the harbour master and he, he asked me to borrow the hose. Yeah. And he's and he goes, and also I need your boat papers and I was like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm the harbour master. I was like, oh okay, sorry. No worries. <laughs> How much is it to stay here? 10 euros. Okay, 15 euros. Okay. Alright, fair enough. And we filled up with water as well. So we, we are very, 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 you know. It's a nice island and I like you. <laughs> cool, nice town, huh? Like yeah, very nice. <laughs> Turns out we were in a nice town. Our boat was surrounded by hundreds of loggerhead turtles that come to nest each year. We were tied off to the town quay of Agastoli in a very protected natural harbour. Agastoli is also the capital here on the island of Kefalonia. Let's have a bit of a wash down. A little for you. <laughs> How good is it? You better not be wetting my rugs. I'm not. Good. You're in trouble. What do you want to hammer this for me? No. Do you want to make some water here or? Oh, quick, grab a glass of water. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I'll get you some water. About how much diesel do you reckon you just got in your mouth? A lot. <laughs> right, here. Yeah. You probably spew it up. <coughs> Scull it and spew it. Honestly. You do not want to have diesel go through your system. <coughs> Dude. Oh. Dude, that's so rough. So rough. I feel so bad for you right now. Have a skull of this milk. Riley swallowed diesel, there's girls at the back of the boat saying there's a massive turtle, which I totally missed because I'm like freaking out about the diesel situation. I don't know, no, no offence Riley, I feel real bad for you, but I did want to see the turtle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I understand that. I wanted to see it as well. <laughs> that afternoon, we went for a wander around the place. The last time we were in Greece was three years ago. It felt surreal to be back in the same country where it all began. Oh my god! Dude, they're really good. Brother, have you chosen this or has it chosen you? Are you settled here or simply passing through? Please give the video a thumbs up guys and drop us a comment. Join us next week for a day trip around Catalonia, interviews with sailors, goodbyes, and possibly the end of the world. Are you tired of always swimming up the stream? 
You make it look much easier. Shipwreck Beach or Smuggler's Coes. Shipwreck Beach or Smuggler's Coes. What the fuck? <laughs> Smuggler's Cove. Smuggler's Cove. Smuggler's Cove.